steps. So I'm gonna do my best to show you how each step goes. No. All right, so you wanna put in the whole container of this. This makes three gallons, by the way. Um, you wanna make sure you microwave it just a little bit because uh, it's winter time, so it's like rock solid. I get this from Sam's Club. This is my favorite coconut oil. Um, ignore my dogs, please. I said no. And then these containers, let me see if you can see that. Save these. They wash really well and they're super strong. That's what I do. Alright. There's one. And then you want like two big old scoops from another jar. Um this recipe makes three gallons of diluted uh, liquid soap. You don't have to dilute it all at once. I do, because um, it's messy and it's quick. Um, but yeah, so. Then you want to put um, or Four tablespoons of stearic acid. You probably don't even need this, honestly, but it was in the first recipe, so I just keep using it. Four tablespoons, okay? And then this is on high. So let this melt for a second. It melts pretty quick. Um, and then we'll add the rest. So I'm gonna push pause on this and then I'll start it again in a minute. This is pretty much melted enough. So I'm gonna show you how I do the um, KOH and the lye. All right, so I usually do this in the sink with this one because of the fumes, but I can't move the camera from here, there, and then back, and we'll, okay. All right, the potassium hydroxide gives off some pretty strong, um, like, fumes. So you might want to, you know, put on a mask or, you know, cover your face or something. Um, So this is 9.5 ounces. And then you want one ounce of regular lye. Um, I was making liquid soap one night and I didn't have enough of the KOH, so I used the one ounce of lye in its place. And it actually turned out perfect. So now I just do it because, you know, it works. I don't know why it works, but it does. So there's that. Then you can set that aside. And then you need your water, which is... Uh, 
31.4 ounces of water. It's 31.4 ounces of liquid. I used to make this soap with 100% sunflower oil, but sunflower oil, the cost of it is insane lately. So I thought, all right, well, I'll try it with the coconut oil since the bar soap turned out so well. And this soap is just literally my all time favorite. I don't even use bar soap in the shower now. I'm so lazy. I, I shower with this. I wash my face with this. I wash the dogs with it. Um, yeah, so we wash our hands with it. All right, whatever, 31.3, 31.4. Okay, so. I don't know if you can see this on camera, let me check. Okay, okay, you can. All right, so like I said, I usually do this in the sink. Um, I usually do this in the sink because the fumes on this is so much stronger than, you know, regular soap. Um, but you'll see, it also makes this noise that scares the shit out of me for some reason. So I put it in the sink just in case like the glass explodes or something, which is probably not gonna happen. But you know, whatever works for you. So put this in there and you're, you're gonna hear it in a second, kind of like hiss. I don't know if you can hear that. That noise scares me. Anyway, make sure you cover your face or you know, wear a mask or something. You probably have a shit ton lying around from COVID. See, I don't know if you can see the fumes coming off this. Uh, but they are a lot stronger than just the lie. But I tell you, once you make your own liquid soap, you can't go back to the store shit. I wash my hands like 100,000 times a day, and it's like the only thing that doesn't dry my hands up. And this soap is loaded with bubbles, loaded with bubbles. All right, so then you're gonna wanna pour this in here, obviously. Don't splash it. it was awesome. So it might do the same thing. So you want to take your stick blender, right? And then blend it. And you can see it already starting to come together. If, when you use other oils, um, when you use other oils, it, it usually takes forever and it separates. So you have to come back like 400 times and stick blend it. But when I made this, this recipe, I mean, it was literally done. The moment I put the lye in, it just basically cooked itself within minutes. So hopefully it does it again, and it's just the recipe itself cooks that way, which makes your life so much easier. So I make the paste and then dilute the whole thing at the same time, and it's all done three gallons by morning, and then I'm usually good to go. Although after I make this for you guys, I'm going to make another batch so that I have six gallons 
uh, because I sell this in my Etsy shop now. So, and also because I have to wash my dogs in the next week or so. And that takes like half a gallon. I just slathered my dogs up. And then I wash them a second time to make sure they don't smell like wet dog. And they're good to go. Their skin and their hair is so shiny. I'm telling you, if you like liquid soap, you should try this. This is by far the best recipe I've ever made. I wish I would have tried it sooner. I opened my Etsy shop in like 2013. I started making soap. It's what, 2023? That's fucking 10 years later. So. Anyway, if you made liquid soap, you know what I'm talking about when it separates. Separates, separates. Um, this one doesn't seem to do that. But I do stick blend it a little longer than I need to, just because I find that the longer you stick blend it, you know, the faster it cooks itself. And I have shit to do in 29 minutes, so I'm trying to get this done and clean up my mess in 29 minutes. Otherwise, it's time for the dogs to come out and they can't come out when I have soap everywhere. So, Be careful too, you don't want to get it too close to the surface and then hit this because it's going to spatter. And it's hot. So. It's going to get to a point in a minute where you can't even stick blend it anymore. It's just too thick. Same. So there's that. Um, I'm just gonna put the top on and then I'll come back in a couple minutes and turn the camera back on so you can kind of see. You can just leave it alone, it's on high. Um, I used extension cords so that it could fit underneath the camera over here. Um, but anyway, just leave it here, put the lid on. Um, and like I said, I'll try and turn the camera back on in a second so you can see what it looks like when it cooks itself. And then I'll turn it back on and show you what it looks like when it's done. Um, so that that way you understand. Yeah, okay. So if you look, when you usually make liquid soap, it's, it gets like translucent and it like cooks itself. But if you see, see this, you see how, how thick this is? This one doesn't seem to get translucent. You could cook it forever and it still does nothing. It just, oh shit. You see how hard that is? It's completely solid. So, I thought maybe, I cooked it longer last time because I, I thought, well, it can't be done that fast, but you know what it is. And this is maybe, six minutes since I pushed stop on the last recording, all right? So when it looks, when it's solid like this and you can't even, you can't even stir it, it's pretty much done. So this is only my second time making it. So I'm gonna let it sit here in the crock pot a little bit longer just in case um, before I dilute it, but it's pretty much done. Uh, so I gotta take my dogs out and then when I come back, no, when I come back to dilute this, um, 
you'll see if it's still the same, if it looks the same, and then you'll know. So, um, be back in a little bit. Okay, here's how I do the dough. I personally use this, use whatever you want. But you want it to be like 32 ounces, okay? So, as you can see, it cooked longer and it still look, it looks exactly the same. So this is done when it's just, you know, super hard and chunky. All right, so you wanna fill this, okay? You can use a measuring cup, whatever you want, but 32 ounces, give or take. Okay. So that's your first one. one pot and three different times but uh, I prefer to just do it once although you might have some left over it looks like all right so there's your third so here's a little bit left. Let's just scoop this out and put it in each one because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna make a fourth um, dilution just because there's a little bit left over. Okay, so then put that in there. Alright. This way it's all done at the same time. And then you can clean everything and be done. All right. So you one 32 ounce cup of soap paste, okay? And then you want three parts of water. Three parts water here, right? For your crock pot, you just turn it back on high until it gets really hot, like so you start to see it steam on the lid, and then turn it off for the night. And then for these two pots, same thing. Put them on the stove, um, bring it up to a boil, although you don't have to bring it to a boil, just bring it up till it's pretty hot. But make sure you watch it, because for some reason with the soap, as soon as it starts getting hot, this will boil over and make a ginormous mess super quick. So just bring it up pretty hot. Um, put the lid on and then leave it overnight. All right. Um,
Um, okay, so you've got your water. You got your soap paste. And you just throw your lids on. Put it all on the stove, turn up the heat. And then turn it off, okay? Um, and then in the morning, I'll take the next video and show you guys how I thicken it and then bottle it. Okay, we're back and it's morning. Um, so these sat overnight. You can see they're nice and white naturally. See the chunks? All right, so you wanna blend this. Try and find the chunks and a little bit thicker, more of like a grocery store shampoo type consistency. Um, when it's um, thin like this in the pump and you pump it, it kind of spatters. So, I'm gonna show you how I thicken it really quick. Um, okay, so you wanna take any vegetable glycerin first. about two tablespoons, give or take. And then uh, xanthan gum. You can get this at uh, the grocery store. It's in the Bob's Red Mills section. It's his brand. His is really expensive though, so if you can find another brand online, it's better. Uh, two tablespoons of that, okay? You have to mix this. You have to mix this with vegetable glycerin first, otherwise it's gonna make your soap chunky. So you can do it straight into here, but I've done it before and it's going to make your, it's gonna make your soap chunky. So you wanna basically completely smooth. So I guess like caramel or condensed milk or something is what you're looking for. And once it's completely mixed in there, then you can put it in here and it will disperse. Disperse. Whatever, it'll mix in. All right. Like I said, you don't have to do this. I just like it. You'll literally be able to see it start thickening. Down. Look. 
YouTube. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect white, creamy soap. Right? Loaded with bubbles. Loaded. And it doesn't make your skin extra dry or gross. You can use this in your hair too. And then once you see it slows like that, it's done. Alright? So, I have a couple more to do, but uh, let me just show you. This is what I use to store it in. I go through a shit ton of vinegar in this house. The Kroger brand, right, the label, it's not sticky. It's just like a film or something. It comes right off, see? And it's super thick. It's super thick because of the vinegar. You know, it has to be so it doesn't eat through. Um, just wash it out with a little bit of soap, shake it. And it's perfect, right? So let me show you what it looks like in these. Anyway, we go through about one of these a week. We, I use it for pickling, I use it for laundry, I use it for cleaning the floors. Um, and then you just, right, your thing. I do it the sink just so that I don't make a mess. Uh, so I almost always do. And then take the pot. I'm serious, you'll have to try this. This really is my new favorite soap. We've already gone through like two and a half gallons and I just figured it out a few weeks ago. So anyway, you want to pour it all in. It makes a little less than a gallon. How perfect is that? Look at that. Perfect clean gallon of soap. Okay. Um, yeah, so the recipe, I think it calls for 55 ounces of liquid of oil. Um, but because it's 100% coconut oil, it's drying. You have to add extra. So that's what those two big scoops are. So if you need uh, if you're doing a, a different kind of oil, like olive oil or sunflower oil, it's just 55 ounces of oil. If you're doing coconut oil, it's about 65, 65, 70 ounces of oil, okay? Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and then, like I said, it makes three of these, because you gotta dump your crock pot and your other pot, and then you're good to go, and then you can make another one and have six gallons sitting around for one. Um, all right, thanks. Oh my god.